Well, statutorily, there's no relationship. The Coastal Resource Management Council was created by statute to be, very simply put, they are the zoning board for our waterways, the abutting lands in our waterways. And they have that authority to manage that as a zoning board. Uh, the Economic Development Corporation facilitates economic development. Um, one of the things that we'll be doing, and I, I personally think, my personal, that CRMC has done an outstanding job with the resources they have. And I think they've done a very good job in creating fair bait policy plans, encouraging mixed-use development that protects our waterways and protects the quality of use and access to the bay uh, with the resources they have. Um, but that being said, one of the things that we'll be doing in our regulatory reform package is having more powers of intervention, where we as an EDC will have the ability on critical economic projects, be it with Department of Transportation, Department of Environmental Management, CRMC, we will have a statutory authority to intervene, to be a part of that process, so that we can help manage a project that has positive economic growth and certainly wealth creation. So this new regulatory process will give us a nexus to have a relationship and have a formal statutory involvement in critical projects, which we don't have to this point. But again, I don't want to say that CRMC is broken. I don't believe it is. I think it needs to have dialogue and management, and I think we need to set priorities. I mean, government can't do any, everything. In some cases, it can't do anything, I think. But we can't do everything, but we can strategically pick those projects. And with dialogue, and with continuity of delivery of policy and public services, bring it to a level where it's creating jobs and wealth. So we will do that through that process. That's a great question. 